because I let I let time pass and then I could not share it. So I'm really sorry for those who missed the last hour. Not my fault. So yes. So for for you to know that it's warm enough when you put the cling film over it, if you can feel the heat coming from the bowl. That's when you know it is warm enough. If you can't feel the heat, just put it back again in the microwave for a few seconds. So you make sure the clean, make sure the clean thing is very tight. I'm talking this tight. The tighter it is, the less air will be escaping. And I can so can you see how tight this corner is? This corner is still loose. So if you can still see ridges like this on top of your clean film, it means that it's not tight enough. So you make it this tight. And then you keep it in the micro in the microwave or in the oven or in a warm place. Again, warm place is difficult to find when you live abroad. Every everywhere is cold. So you put it in the microwave. Put it in the microwave or in a warm place in your cupboard. Or hey, if you live if you live in the UK, your boiler room. Oh yes, where your boiler is is a fantastic place to keep puff puff. It makes it rise very very fast because your boiler room is very very is usually warmer than the rest of the house. So your boiler room. Let me tighten this up and then I'll show you guys. Hold on. I'm still here. Hold on. Let me wash my hands. So you must beat out all the air. Beat it out. Beat it out. Beat it out. Beat out all the air before you fry. 
so you beat us all the air. Don't worry, I think I about you puff off is supposed to be light and airy. Why are you basting out all the air? Don't worry. When it touches hot oil, it will still bubble. Don't worry. Don't worry. So you must you must beat out all the air. Otherwise it's going to absorb oil and it's very disgusting. So how you know that your puff puff was well done you followed everything that Donnie said is if when you hold it up it holds up like this if you cannot hold it up properly it just means that you've added too much water unfortunately it will still fry very well but again it will absorb oil which is nasty and disgusting so you must ensure that's why i said that you don't make it too watery so that by the time it has finished rising you can pick it up like this and drop it back if you pick it up and it's just falling apart in your hands then that means that it is too it is too watery um now when it's too watery please don't add flour and say ah, let me just add flour maybe i can cheat it's too late it's honestly too late it's honestly too late so don't add don't add flour at the end how long do you cover it for usually if you do my microwave method between 30 to 45 minutes it will be done if you just keep it in the one place it may take you slightly an over an hour or sometimes an hour and a half if the, the, the speed in which your puff puff rises depends on the environment that you put it in that's why i put mine in the microwave so that i make it hot and then it makes it uh, rise faster so this is your second your second to the last test that you make before you fry it is can you hold can you hold the puff puff in your hands if you can't hold it in your hands and it is ah, coming falling out you've added too much water unfortunately no don't add milk please there's no need there's, don't add milk there's no need so how do you form the balls that's the next step is difficult is i will try just watch me so open your fingers you op your palm you open it like this then you turn let me open you see Ho hold out your fingers like this it will be very good if even if you don't have any puff puff butter right now just as you're looking at me with one hand with one i'm saying one hand as you're holding your phone with one hand please everybody that's the only way you can do it practice with do it with me as i'm doing it so hold your phone in one hand look at me in your second hand open your fingers like this again hold your phone in one hand in your second hand just imagine that you have puff puff in front of you just imagine just just let's use the, our imagination so hold hold your phone in one hand open your sec your the fingers of your second hand then turn keep turning like you're trying to imagine your your hand is a clock the the hands of the clock turn 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 it turn it turn it turn it do this you put it back what i'm what i'm trying to do is to, i want you to find the midpoint so this is like zero one zero one we're looking for half so when you get to half midpoint oh it's easier that was how i learned how to do it I had watched so many videos, it just did not work until I sat down with somebody who has told me how they, how they, they teach their staff. Somebody who makes small chops in Nigeria was the person who taught me how to do it. So, zero, one. And when I first, after I left his, um, his shop, those words were ringing in my head and till today, he hasn't failed me. Zero, one, zero, one, half. Then you take your thumb, <laughs> your thumb like this. Mm -hmm um do do this you have to practice with empty air before the before the flower gets you know otherwise you get it wrong zero one zero one half then you bend your fingers this your thumb this your thumb this your thumb and this finger and this finger you're trying to form an o it is with it is inside this o that the puff puff ball is going to i know it's serious matter <laughs> that the puff puff ball now some people can do this so don't get me wrong some people do this one and they drop it inside and it works unfortunately for me that has never worked some people can do it and it works so but can you see how how you fail some people do it and it works for them it doesn't work for me so if you are if you're the kind of person that can use four fingers and take it like this and then drop it and it works for you 
congratulations it doesn't work for me you can see already the shape that was ready for me it doesn't work for me so i will i will so take your take so in your in this half position take your four fingers and you let me get my fingers wait hold on it's too it's too sticky hold on You need for four commercially, they always have water beside them. So put your hand in water, okay, put your hand in water, and then you using this part of your put your four fingers together in the half position, just bend it, put your four fingers together, and then you move the butter towards the edge of the bowl. Hold on. You move the butter towards the edge of the bowl. This is why I said that if your puff off is too watery, you won't be able to hold it like this. It will fall through your fingers. So if your this puff off is the perfect consistency, so you you have this in the halfway position, then remember I said hold your thumb and your index finger. So so move it towards you, right? Move it towards you in the halfway position. Then you squeeze. Can you see how perfect that formed? You squeeze. Okay, that was too fast. Let me do it again. So you push the you push the butter towards you. Push it towards you. Towards. So you push you push the butter towards you. You hold it in your hand. Then you get you move your 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 whole hands to the half position. That's why I said if your butter is too too watery, you won't be able to do this successfully because it will fall through your fingers. So, so you move your so this is it. Your thumb, 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 thumb. Good. Some people the experts do it with your thumb and first finger. Some do it with thumb and second finger. Some do it with thumb and third finger. So. The, the tighter the hole, the smaller the puff puff. That is why you go to parties and the small chops, the puff puff is so small. It's because they used this f thumb and first finger. This normal, regular home puff puff -pop at home size is the second finger. If you now want to make it very big, you use the third finger. So thumb, first finger, very tight. Thumb, second finger, regular size. Thumb, third finger, big puff puff. So let's do it again. So you move it towards, you see, start from the middle of the bowl. You move it towards you, towards you. So you have you hold it in your hand like this. Then you take your thumb, second finger. Can you see? Some second finger. You bend your hand as if you're trying to turn a steering wheel of a car. And then you press. You know what? I will show the phone under, under it so you can see what's going on under my hand. Do it again. It's difficult to describe, but don't worry. I wish somebody was holding the phone for me, but she's recording in class, so I can't tell her to come. So I put my phone under my, so you can see what's going on under my hand. Can you see? You, can you see? You squeeze it, and then boom! That's the perfect ball. You move it again. You see? You see? You squeeze, boom! That's perfect. So you go again. Again, my thumb. Look, look for the halfway point. You know, this is zero. This is one half. Look for the halfway point. You take your thumb against your third finger, and then can you see? And then you squeeze, you squeeze, you squeeze, you squeeze, you squeeze, and then turn it again and boom. That's a ball. It works ten out of ten times. It has never failed me. We'll do it. We'll do it again. Ice cream scoop doesn't work for me. I know some it works for some people, but it doesn't work for me. This has worked for me. So again, in your finger, thumb, second finger, thumb, second finger, thumb, second finger. You press it. You press the, the, the dough in between. You keep going. You keep going. Then you use this one finger to help to press it. It's like cutting it. And you keep going. Can you see? By the time you turn your by the time you turn it around, boom. It forms the ball. Boom. It forms the ball. Can you see that, that ball you saw on Instagram yesterday? This is how I do it. Boom. 
he forms a ball. This is why I said your if your dough is too watery, it, everything just falling through your hand and be frustrating you. Some people can do this method and do it and then do it like this. Can you see already that it, it doesn't work for me? It, it doesn't work for me. So we'll do it, we'll do it again. So I'll, I'll go and put on the, the oil now. We'll do it again. So in your hand. And a way to practice as well is to do this. Just be pushing it through. You can see that you're pushing it through. Pushing it through. Watch, watch the action of my fingers. Watch the action of my fingers. And make sure that if you're what if you're there's no water on your hand, it will it will stick. But see, so finger, second thumb, second finger. You press it. You press it. You press it. You press it. Boom! That's a perfect ball. You can use a puff of dispenser too as well. Yeah, press it. So just just follow 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 the actions of my finger. So this is my thumb, right? Like this. You press it. Can you see? You press it. You use. So this thumb is resting on the second finger. Meanwhile, the first finger is the one that's actually moving it through. You see? You see? That's a perfect ball. Then you turn your hand. So still while it's tight. Can you see? It's tight. And then boom. That's a perfect ball. <laughs> so again it takes a while but once you watch the video properly again you put your finger your thumb your second finger your first finger does all the cutting you push it 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 keep your your thumb against your finger tight and then boom it always works it has never look at it so when it enters the hot oil it just form so let me go and wash my hands because even the frying too was real that's why when you see the people who fry puff puff the hold on let me, let me wash my hands so i can put the oil on fire two seconds Okay, so let me read some questions. <laughs> yes, you, you can. The, the problem with ice cream scoop is the fact that, except you really oil the ice cream scoop or put plenty of water, the the batter will stick to it. Your hands is always the best thing. Some people can do this one. Some people can. Some people use this one. There are three, four fingers, and then they make you work. That has never worked for me. Half of the half of the performance will look nice. The other half will look like ameba. The other half will look like egungun. Be careful, as in moto has jammed it. So I don't even bother. This one it works. So empty fingers. Imagine that there's puff puff in your finger. Do do this, and then roll roll this this one. Because can you see? Hey, in fact, it's even good that there's no there's no dough in my hands. It's easier to explain. So zero, one half. And you bend it to almost so you you push it together rest this thumb on this finger and then you move this one you move it go ahead and you are tighten it you are tighten it and then you turn it and then push and so come out come down so again you roll you roll you roll push push you turn down you have to you have to 30 45 minutes this one i had already made it before you guys started because i didn't want you guys to wait for the one in the microwave to rise so let's check out the one in the microwave it's still too early to see anything really it's too early no it hasn't done anything it's still it's still rising so so waiting for the oil to get hot let me let me go again okay all right so, finger, thumb, second finger, thumb, second finger. You can see you're rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. Eee! That's your ball. 
and then boom boom so you know those people that make puff puff is um, what do you call it commercially let me show you how they, what they do they'll take it depending on how big your your palm is i have quite a small palm so i can only do three at the same time depending on how big your palm is they'll hold it in their hand and they'll go one two to shake it again three can you see that the ball is is four I'll shake it again five and the hand is empty and you go and take more look can you see how perfect that ball is that's a perfect ball that's how they do it yeah the oil the oil is on the oil is on fire already also um if your puff puff is too hot what will happen is it will brown on the puff puff is too hot <laughs> sorry if the oil is too hot it will brown on the outside it will be raw inside when that happens just accept your feet fry the first batch sometimes i even turn off the heat completely and the oil is still so hot to fry so you always do one before you fry a large puff off and then start crying because puff off is one thing that can make result you into tears because you are an amazing cook you can cook any kind of you can cook all the complex dishes then puff off will not turn you to an amateur it can be very frustrating so fry one do a taste test a fry test you fry one if it turns out okay then you not continue frying regular oil the, I put this in the microwave for so that I can cheat. It's just a cheat method. It makes it faster. Instead of waiting for one hour or two hours, when you put it in the microwave for like 90 seconds or 60 seconds, it makes it rise faster because yeast needs a warm environment to to rise. Um, no, no, no. The microwave is not on. No. The microwave is... So after I have done the 90 seconds, I put it back in the microwave and just close it because the microwave is the warmest place in the house right now. If it was in the UK, I put it in my boiler room. In my boiler room, oh, I don't even have a boiler room. If you, have, if you have a boiler room in the UK, put it in your boiler room, it will rise very fast. The warmer an environment is, the faster the yeast will rise. Yes, what makes puff puff crispy on the outside is sugar. If there's enough sugar, if, if there's still sugar left in the in the butter by the time you're ready to fry, it will be crispy on the outside because the sugar is caramelizing in the heat of the oil. That's why I said don't let your puff puff stay for too long. If it stays for too long, there won't be that much sugar left inside again. So if there's still sugar in the butter, by the time the puff puff hits the oil, the sugar will caramelize. So it now gets crunchy on the outside. If you don't have a microwave and you want to make it rise very fast, just imagine this was on the fire on the cooker now. So boil water in a pot and just do this. Put it on top. The heat from the pot will get into the bowl and it will warm up the butter. So if there's no light or you don't have a microwave, it's fine. Just warm, put water in the pot, let the water get hot and put the pot off on top. So that when the when the water now gets cold and the butter is warm then you can now cover it with cling film or you can use tissue paper cover it on top and then put it in your cupboard oops sorry you don't use egg no egg no milk there's no need that's bones it's only bones that you use egg and milk for not puff puff the mixture it depends on how warm it depends on how warm the environment is the mixture normally my own takes 30 to 45 minutes in winter it can take an hour because it's cold in winter but in summer or in nigeria uh, it should not take that long because nigeria is is hot i don't uh, some people use egg i don't agree with egg there's no there's really, really no need for it there's no need for it <laughs> honestly there isn't but if you want to use egg i have never used egg before so i cannot advise on something i don't know so let me go and check the oil hold on okay let me check the oil The oil is ready now, right back. Uh -huh. 
attends. Ok, so the oil is ready. Puff puff is ready. Ok, hold on. I need my hands, so just give me a few seconds. <laughs> I do a test. This is like a test, really. So it just means that the oil isn't hot enough. If the puff off is still sinking, it's still sinking, it's still sinking, it hasn't come up by itself. It means that the oil is not hot enough. So I will increase. I will increase the heat. So it just. It, that's too. That's it. It took too long. When the, when the oil is hot enough, when you pour it, when you pour the butter in, it should rise immediately. Like literally immediately. So it means the oil is not hot enough. Also, that's why I said always do one test, one bowl. Also, the shape will not form properly because you can see that it's a little flat because the butter sat down at the bottom of the pan and did not rise up on time. That's why the, the shape has changed. So we we'll let the oil get hotter. Once this one browns, it means that the oil is hot enough and then i'll be adding it and you'll be seeing that immediately it's eh, it's too close to the heat immediately the puff off is right so you can see that the shape is changing it's changing back to the ball but it's taking too long so just give it a few more a minute or two the oil will get hot enough and then we'll, i will start frying So I want to clean the oil, there's sediment at the bottom, so give me a few minutes, let me decant the oil into something else, there's, a, there's sediment at the bottom, so I'll be right back. This, the sediment was from yesterday's puff puff, so let me, let me sieve the oil. So that we get very clean, we get very clean pop off. Give me a few moments. I'm still here, I'm just trying to sieve the oil so that I can remove any sediments, otherwise, the sediments will ruin your pop off. Nobody wants to eat puff puff that has sediments on top of it. So. Taking up the sediments, I'll be right back. Sediments, I will wipe with the pan. So always, just so you get very pretty looking for puff, always make sure that you check for sediments. If there are sediments, just decant it and then start with that. Wash the pan and start with that again. You what I mean by setting this so you can see see can you see if you fry if there are sediments at the in your pan 
it would um, stain your puff puff and you will not look nice and you, and you really don't want that so i've strained out i've strained out the the sediments so i'm waiting now again for the oil to get hot I know people put onions, people put all kinds of things. The roadside people, they don't do all that. All the people you do, you eat the, the, the puff puff we all grew up enjoying was as simple as possible. All those extra jars, people add it to, don't get me wrong, go. But I don't, I don't see a reason to. Vanilla is the most I can add or not make. Beyond that, this is actually true. But again, everybody should cook what they want to cook. <laughs> okay, so let me... Let me let me be i'll be reading questions while i while i wait for the oil to get hot yes seven cups of flour four cups of water three cups of sugar two tablespoons of yeast a pinch of salt a dash of vanilla you can add um, uh, um uh, what do you call it you can add um nutmeg if you want um put iru ah at this rate people don't start putting iru inside of i will not be surprised uh, maggie and crayfish are ah, yes k I, I swear, I don't think can surprise me again. <laughs> I live in the UK, but I'm in the US at the moment. <laughs> yeah, you can, that's what I'm saying, you can add all those ones. I don't, again, it's up to you. I just don't see the reason for it. I don't add milk. You see, when you, when you add milk to, ask any baker, when you add milk to a, a, a what do you call it, to a, a puff puff, it makes it heavy. There's a reason why we all like puff puff. Is that light, airy, almost like air that you get when you chew it? When you add milk to it, it's going to make it heavy. It's going to make it heavy. You add milk to bones. You don't add milk to puff puff. Well, you know what I'm saying? You can't do. Again, I've always been the kind of person that says, cook whatever you want to cook. But the puff puff I grew up learning how to make is flour sugar water yeast a little salt some vanilla nutmeg but milk is going to make it heavy okay so let me let me test it again to see if the if the oil is hot enough i will just make one i do one put your hand in water so that this the, the also please when you are doing that method please be careful that you don't go too low otherwise you will burn your handle i, I still have scars from chin chin that i can never forget so let me just put this phone down okay so we do one test it's still not hot enough in my opinion but it's, it's coming it's coming not hot enough it's not hot enough because if it's not hot enough you see that perfect ball that i formed will just disappear it's now looking like a cylindri cylindrical shape it's looking like sausage roll, which is upsetting me <laughs> so i just wait for the oil to get hot but i'm showing you guys all this so that you can see you can see that the ball the ball has gone it's still it's still uh, what do you call it it's still bo um, round but it's now more of a cylindrical ball than a round ball so let's just wait again for the oil to get hot. A few more minutes. And then the oil will get hot. Ah, chin chin. No, I don't make chin chin. I have, I'm, I, I have PTSD from chin chin. I was making chin chin for my brother's birthday. And I was doing this. You know how you chin chin and you pour it? I didn't realize that as I was pouring it, my hands were getting lower and lower and lower until it entered inside the hot oil. The pain that day, I can never forget. I have not made changes since then. Like, my four fingers blistered. Ah, no. I don't. I buy it. I don't care how much chin is. I'm buying it. My mother makes has an amazing recipe for chin -chin, but we don't... We, my father banned us from making chin -chin as from that day because the hospital bill that he incurred was not worth the chin, -chin. <laughs> So we, I don't make chin, chin But even at that, you can see that the ball is still there. So I'll try it again. Okay. Not hot enough, but it's fine. I'll keep going. When it's hot, it just boom. It's just 
it's, it's come up it's come up but again it's yeah it's getting there it's getting there you can see that the the ball the, you see the ball has formed perfectly because it it's 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 floated back up faster than this one you can see that you see that's a perfect ball let me get a spoon so you can see you can see you can see that look at look at the shape this is the shape this is the pop off shape that we like compared to this one it's still ball but it's more like a cylindrical ball this is the pop off shape that we want that's why i said this method that i have of doing it like this it works for me and has always worked so, let me go again So if, if it's not if it's not coming out quickly just dip your hand inside what your inside water and then it's make it come out quickly so let me let me just let me take a big chunk so that i can show you guys all right ouch and that's what i mean by when is the oil is hot enough it floats up almost immediately Okay. I need my hands, sorry. <laughs> I need my hands. I'm still here. I just need my hands. So now the oil is now really hot. It's working. So let me see it's coming up practically almost immediately. You see a few five seconds is, is floating up also the more puff puff you add the the it, it will lower the heat because the more can you see see the, the balls are perfect let me <laughs> let me put up one so i don't let this one burn it's going to burn if i've turned down the heat because it's already some are already burning okay haha <laughs> okay I'm still here, I just need my hands, otherwise it will burn. If I stay burning it's safe. Oh no. Anyways, let me get some out of the way. Let me get this out of the way, it's starting to burn. Again, if I was not teaching a class, I would not let you get this out. I'll fry them at once, but I keep having to stop to hold my phone. That's why it's burning. So when the, what we'll do is we'll fry this warm batch when that one rises i would sign in live again hopefully i'll get somebody to hold my phone and then we are done okay yeah unfortunately it has burnt left to me this is burnt this is burnt puff puff because i was stopping normally if i was frying it without having to stop they will all fry literally at the same time because I'm very fast in forming that bowl. But anyways, it's a class. It is still looking good. So I've turned down the heat. And yeah, that's how to make puff puff. I didn't record the Jollof class. It was live. So it has gone. Thanks to Amazon and Amazon Instagram. So yeah, that's it. That's puff puff. You can see that the balls are round. They kept their shape. This one has fried for too long. So move it down there. So if I wasn't stopping, so when, when I when I do the the one that's in the microwave now, when it rises, I will dial back in again and then I will f hopefully tell my friend you should, should be done because has, this has burnt. This is not this is not my kind of puff puff but so we, we've sacrificed puff puff for the class so the next batch will be done properly you guys will see you will see so what's happening the reason why you, you you have to work very fast so that you take it out at once rather than having to take it out one by one so we'll, we'll just sacrifice this one because i was stopping and starting stopping and starting when the, the other one in the in the in the microwave when it rises we'll dial back in again and believe you still awake well, again she should still be awake now it's only six o'clock or seven o'clock in nigeria so this so this is it 
it's easy as pie. So the so I can tell you now the reason why it burns is the oil is too hot. When the oil is really hot, you have to work very fast so that by the time you add all the, the butter into the puff puff into sorry into the oil, it drops the temperature. But if you are stopping and starting like I did, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. They will fry at different times. So this has burnt. So we are at least I've showed you now what not to do. <laughs> so when that when let me go and check on that one. When that other one rises, then I will do everything at once and I'll show you guys what to do. Oil was too hot. Not do not do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, let's go and check on the on the other one in the microwave. Let me also Okay, so let's check on this one. It hasn't done anything, but you can definitely see that it is working. You can see, you see the bubbles. If you, if by now, which is almost 20 minutes or 30 minutes later, you are still not seeing any bubbles, then it just means that your yeast has died. So the yeast is clearly working, but because of the volume where we started with i'm expecting that when we dial back in probably an hour or two later it should be about here it should be about here if it doesn't get to here it hasn't risen enough. if you fry your puff puff too early it will be dense it will be it will, it will have a texture of bones nobody wants that kind of puff puff you want air it's like you're chewing air so hold on let me put it back Back. The yeast is clearly working. I just need to give it time. So let me put it back. Hmm. Hold on. I wanted to show you the inside of the puff puff. See the inside. Can you see? It's not. Look at it. I've taken it off from the surface. You can't see oil dripping down. Can you see, see the inside? See, it's dry. It's not wet. You see? Oof! Ouch! I'm pressing it. You cannot see oil oozing out of it. If oil is oozing out of it, your butter was too light okay so let's just dial in in about an hour time or less than that when this one is ready i will go live again and then i'll show you how to make proper puff puff your own has risen yay correct okay confi confia twenty underscore 20 your dough is rising yes up 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 star for life okay so two people said that do have risen good so um can you send me a dm of your picture let me see if you because if your own has risen if it's risen properly then you can fry it if it's not if it's not risen properly just give it a little more time so that we do it together any more question ah okay you should do yeah. mm. you need enough oil to let me show you let me answer the person that says your question about oil you need enough oil like this or see this is, there should be enough uh, again please don't do this with water with oil i beg you <laughs> there should be enough oil to get to above this your finger line 
Here you can see. It must be above the uh, this finger line because it's deep frying. If what what happens is if you use not enough oil, the pop off will just get to the bottom, sink, and there will not be enough buoyancy to lift it up. So you need buoy buoyancy. I know I did physics, so buoyancy is not a word that people just use like that. Buoy let's just b u o y a n c y. So if the oil if the water and oil is not enough, pop off will sink. And there won't be enough buoyancy to lift it back up again. So make sure that you're using a frying pan or you're using a pot. There should be enough oil that when you put your hand inside, it should be above this your finger line. So if I was trying to puff safe, I would I would add more. I'll add water to about here. I'll add oil to about here. To about here. If you look at this pan, you can see that it's practically almost at the top. Because this is a small, this is a small um frying pan i need to change this way anyways okay no comfy is going to be in the cooking class so I, I can't i can't do comfy on instagram live that's not possible instagram live only allows you for one hour so comfy has to be done in a cooking class so all right we'll sign up sign out now we'll come back in about 45 minutes time by then you should have risen